Good morning and welcome back to White Mountain Today here on White Mountain TV 16. It is Sunday, March 22nd. And joining us in the studio, we've got Daniel Weeder, Rebecca Lees, and India Drummond sitting on the couch this way. And we're going to talk about the upcoming Mount Washington Valley Science Fair, which has been going on for many years and many participants over the years. And uh, so we're going to talk about that. So how are you guys this morning? I'm doing well. Good, good. That's good. Yeah. Well, you look great and uh, you look like you're, you're ready to talk science. And uh, unfortunately, they didn't bring anything to uh, like blow up this morning, but uh, uh, that's okay. That's okay. We'll, uh, we'll talk about it anyway. So you guys are all doing different experiments as part of the Mount Washington Valley Science Fair. So who wants to give me an overview of what the science fair itself is all about? Um, Rebecca. Sure, I'll do it. <laughs> well, uh, the science fair is basically an opportunity for kids like us to take an idea or a question that we have and figure out a way to solve it ourselves using science. And um, it's on the 14th of May at the Tech Village. So, uh, so you've, got, you've got about two months to get your experiments all up and running and hopefully working and not going, oh no, it's May 12th and my experiment doesn't work. So you got plenty of time, and so you guys are, are working on those right now. Yep. yep. And uh, so Daniel, we're gonna start with you and, uh, and talk about w the experiment that you've got coming up. Okay, so my experiment is um, to test which species of maple gives off the most heat. So um, I went out and I cut three trees. I cut a uh, sugar maple, a red maple, and a striped maple, and I shaved them down. And then I will put them into a calorimeter and have a controlled burn and um, find out which um, tree gave off the most heat. Now, I have to ask a silly question. What's a calorimeter? A calorimeter is a um, place where so you, there, there's like a place where you burn under, and then there's a vial or something that's hanging over the flame of water. And then there's a thermometer in that, and you measure the heat that the water goes up by. And you learned all this in science class? Yes, all from Mr. Yana. So right there, that's like kudos to the science <laughs> class, the fact that, that uh, you know what a calorimeter is. Uh, so that's really cool. And, uh, and what is your uh, hypothesis? Which one do you think is going to burn the hottest? Um, I hypothesize that the sugar maple was going to release the most heat due to its specific gravity or density. Um, and like the denser the wood, the more heat it's going to release, which is just like a basis for my knowledge. Um, and that should work. That's very cool. <laughs> now, Rebecca and India, you're working on the same project. Yep. Yeah. And what, what is that? Um, basically, we are growing plants next to a Wi-Fi router that will release electromagnetic radiation. And then we're growing plants protected from that Wi-Fi router, and we're going to test whether uh, the electromagnetic radiation has an effect on the growth of the plants. And what do you think is going to happen? We think that it will have a negative effect on the growth of plants. Except for the plants will then be able to get Facebook though, so I mean that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's probably a positive <laughs> thing there. So, um, and, and how did you come, how, how much electronic, uh, electromagnetic radiation does a Wi-Fi router put out? I think this is an important question. Well, we decided, well, uh, we wanted to test that originally, but looking at how expensive uh, anything is to use to measure how much, we decided that we, that was not going to be the focus of our project yeah. because it was multiple hundreds of dollars to purchase these devices. Yeah. So you're doing it with plants. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah. And uh, now how did you guys kind of uh, come up with this one? I mean, where, you know, how your, uh, your science history, I guess, that brought you to this one? Well, uh, we saw a project that a couple of girls in Denmark had done, and they had tested how their plants were affected when exposed to Wi-Fi. And we decided to kind of expand on that. So we're not really looking at the first generation. We're going to look at the second generation and see how exposing the first generation will affect, if it will affect the second generation. 
the so seeds. are you going to continue this experiment next year too to kind of do the second generation or no <laughs> well um, we are using these plants that are called fast plants and basically their whole life cycle is about a month so we're almost done with our first generation and we're going to start planting the second one oh, that's soon. cool yeah that is cool. now what kind of plant is it it's a fast plant it's um, a variation of a mustard plant yeah. designed specifically for fast growth. That's yeah. really cool. And uh, you're in Miss Cole's class there at Kennett High School. And uh, so that's very cool. Now are you doing the experiment in the high school itself or is this like, so you've got this little boxed off area for that? Yeah, we are, we are set up in Miss Cole's classroom. <laughs> Um, now, we were talking before that pretty much, well, not everybody, but a lot of students are taking part in the science fair. Yep. Um, part of our curriculum is that all of the biology students or the advanced biology students at the high school do a science fair project. And uh, now, uh, um, Daniel, is that the same in Bartlett? Does everybody do the science fair project or just they have to do a science experiment and you can enter it if you want? Uh, well. Everybody does a science experiment, and it's, I don't think we had anybody last year who didn't, um, and I think it is most of the time entered into the science fair. Yeah. And of course, a lot of the students from, uh, from Bartlett and Tamworth and uh, um, Kenan Middle School plus the high schools, I mean, a, a large group of students partake in this science fair. I can't remember, who knows what the number is, uh, how many students are gonna participate in that. Uh, Mr. Pichet, do you know that answer? Oh, three, I thought you were going three. Uh, 300 students uh, participating oh, in the science sure. fair. Uh, yeah, three of you, that's it. This is, a, this is a science fair here, people. No, uh, 300 students, and it really is an amazing thing um, to walk around and to see the experiments. Um, I personally, as an adult, uh, take a lot of pride in what you guys, what you students are doing, uh, both with your teachers and yourself, uh, to create the science fair. And the thing is, is uh, the science experiments like you guys are doing, these are not simple like, if I drop a pencil, will it hit the ground things. These are, <laughs> these are uh, well thought out, um, almost, I, I don't wanna use the word complicated, experiments that you guys are creating. So it's really an amazing thing. So kudos to you and to all the students who are doing it. And I imagine it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it is. Um, especially like on the science fair day, it's really cool to just walk around and see what everybody has done. It's fun to talk to the judges and, yeah. and talk to everyone else and just be there. It's yeah. a really fun environment. So I'll just uh, jump back, it doesn't really help you for this year, but what, it, what was your experiment? You did the maple, you did last year, you also did something with the maple, right? Uh, well, I did a test on um, hardwoods and I did one on sugar maple, one on oak, <laughs> one on um, ash and then I had one on birch and I did that on a homemade calorimeter which was made out of a um, old bucket <laughs> see but I think that's awesome that you're, <laughs> you're making your own uh, science experiments at home that's great and what about uh, you guys did you do something last year um, yeah I've, in previous years I've tested the effects of eco-friendly versus synthetic packing materials so. That's cool. In India? I've done uh, plants. Uh, seventh grade, I just did a very simple experiment and found the optimal temperature for germinating radish seeds. And then eighth grade, I tested to see whether fertilizer would help a radish seed germinate at more stressful uh, temperatures. See, that's cool, and I like the fact, uh, no offense, Rebecca, but no, but the, the two experiments you guys did last year or the first year, then you added yeah. on to it the second year, which mm -hmm. of course is what science is all about. And uh, so I think this is great. As you can tell, I'm very, uh, very excited by this. Um, very proud of this for, uh, for all the students in the Mount Washington Valley because it really is a great thing. And to, uh, we have a bunch of science teachers in the other room right now. Um, it's kind of our science teacher brain trust for the Mount Washington Valley here. And, and they really have done a great job um, in fostering science uh, throughout all the years. You guys are obviously excited by it. Um, and you said nice comments about them earlier too. So, <laughs> right. so definitely the, the science fair, so the actual science fair is gonna be? Um, May 14th from nine to 7.30. And that's gonna be at the? Uh, 
Tech Village. The, the Tech Village in down Conway. there in Conway. So you definitely want to put that on your calendar so you can go down and check that out. And you will be amazed at the great science there. So, uh, so uh, Daniel, India, Rebecca, thanks so much for coming down today. And uh, I want to hear how these experiments go. So uh, you're going to have to come back and tell us or you know, send us a blog or something like that <laughs> and let us know how everything goes. So uh, thank you so much. And so definitely check out the Science Fair May 14th. And we'll be back here in a minute on White Mountains Today.